Howdy folks, it's Not Jay with Not Jay's Tabletop Gaming, and this video is third in the series, and we look at HMS Eskimo, a tribal class destroyer that served throughout the entire war. So let's see how it paints up. Hop on board, let's get sailing. HMS Eskimo was a tribal class destroyer. Uh, the tribal class destroyers were designed to be larger uh, vessels than had been previously built by the British for the destroyer fleet, uh, primarily as a response to the Germans and the Italians building their, their larger vessels. Uh, she served the entire war, being uh, laid down in August of 1936 and launched in September of 1937. She was completed and commissioned in December of 1938, uh, finally being uh, scrapped in June of 1949 after ending up being a target vessel. So, uh, like I said, uh, she was larger than the previous destroyers uh, that had been built, coming in at about 2,500, just over 2,500 uh, tons fully loaded. Her length was 377 feet long, 36 and a half feet wide, and carried a draft at 11 feet 3 inches. She did have 44,000 horsepower coming from uh, three boilers, driving two shafts, uh, which were able to give her 36 knots. She did have a range of about 5,700 nautical miles when she cruised at 1,500 knots. Had a complement of 190 uh, officers and uh, enlisted men. She had a total of eight 4.7 inch quick fire guns uh, in four twin turrets two to the fore, two to the aft, superimposed, um, one in front of the other. She also carried uh, one quadruple mount of 40 millimeter guns and two uh, quadruple uh, half inch guns, 50 calibers, um, anti-aircraft machine guns. And then she also had one quadruple 21 inch torpedo rack. Uh, and she carried depth charges of course, to get rid of those nasty uh, submarines out there. Uh, so she was uh, a pretty uh, decent ship all in all. This particular paint job I'm doing is what she looked like in uh, 1941, her paint scheme with the light gray and the green gray uh, on, the, on the bottom portion. So. Eskimo did take part in the Second Battle of Narvik in April of 1940, uh, which occurred uh, in the Nar Narvik Fjord in uh, Norway. Uh, and she took a hit from a torpedo fired from a German destroyer. Uh, the explosion blew her bow clean off, uh, and after repairs uh, that the shipwrights did at sea, um, at the uh, the fleet repair ship Vindictive, she was returned back to Newcastle, Newcastle where uh, she was rebuilt, which took until September of 1940. Uh, she did take part in the Allied landings in North Africa in November of 42. Uh, she was also part of Operation Husky uh, when she was damaged extensively again by German dive bombers. Uh, she did uh, corner and sink an enemy German sub, the U-971, while in company with the Canadian destroyer uh, Haida and a, a B-24 Liberator of the Czech Air Force in the English Channel north of Brest in uh, June of 1944. And then she was transferred over to uh, Burma in the Far East during the uh, final days of the war. So that is Eskimo. Uh, Good looking ship, I'd say. Here are some photos uh, showing her off. And uh, hope you all enjoyed this quick video, and we'll see you on the flip side. 